Hi, this is Rick Rizutko, President of the International Polk Association. On behalf of the officers, directors, board of trustees, and members of the International Polk Association, we'd like to congratulate Lenny Gamuka. Now sit back and enjoy this wonderful tribute to a living polka legend. For over 50 years, Lenny Gomoka has been an important part of the polka industry and a part of all of our lives. His music has brought us many polka rockin' weekends, reminiscing times, and of course, polka magic itself. It's polka magic, it's polka magic for you and for me. 2016 marks the 53rd anniversary of the first recording he made as a young boy in Chicago. In this fitting tribute, we'll share some of the memories we've made through the years and through his music. But first, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Lenny was born in September of 1950 to Ted and Mary Gomoka. The youngest of four children, Lenny grew up in a Polish neighborhood in the city of Chicago. As a child, he showed musical talents early on as he played his makeshift drum set of pots and pans. By the age of 11, he began formal lessons on the trumpet, and soon he was sitting in with his older brother Richie's band and getting hired for his first jobs with others in the Chicagoland area. Among them were Jerry Petrinchek's Polka Sharps, where he got his first recording studio experience. Imagine, after only playing for two years, finding himself in the studio at 13 years old. Let's listen in, as the music you are hearing is, in fact, that first recording of a very young Lenny. Isn't that something? Jerry's brother, Jimmy Petrinchek, played on that recording as well. Hi, Lenny. This is Jimmy Petrinchek calling to say congratulations. Although we had only a few musical years together, we did have a lot of fun. One thing that I kind of remember was we played a wedding at Wagner's Hall. After the wedding, I was taking you home, and I'm starting to go down, and I made a left-hand turn onto Ogden, and here I see blue lights following me. You then hit the floor of the back seat because you were 12, I was 16. So I got out of the car, he asked what I was doing this time, I told him, he says, I think it's time you just head for home. And away we went. Both of us were sweating that one out. But again, it was one hell of a time and I wish you the best. There was another musician on that first Polka Sharps recording who would play a part in Lenny's musical development through the years. Like Lenny, he went on to play with well-known polka bands, such as Eddie Blazoinchek's Versatones. He also eventually was named as a fellow Polka Music Hall of Famer by the IPA. His name, Wally Maduja. Hey, Letty, Walter Maduja here. I think I remember how we met. I got a call from Tommy Altenberg of the Happy Notes to play a job. And he said I had to pick up the trumpet player who lives at 3710 South Honorary. He, I still remember your address. I'm not uh, senile yet. So I go and beep the horn, and out comes this kid about 12 or 13 years old carrying a trumpet. I said, what the heck is this? He opens the door and says, hi, I'm Lenny Gamuka. And that was the start of our friendship. I think the year was 1962 or 63. And the rest is history. Our friendship spans over 50 years, and I just wanted to wish you the best on your day, and maybe have a Nazarovia, some different I buy. Lenny's brother Richie was eight years older than him, 
and proved to be a big influence and an encouraging presence. He eventually became a member of the IPA Polka Music Hall of Fame himself. Hello, Brother Lenny. This is Richie. I just want to congratulate you on what I feel is another well-deserved honor in your polka music life. We all wish you future success, and most important, Glenn, as you know, the very best of our Lord's blessings throughout life. Take care, and God bless everybody. I had a dream when I was 13 that I would be the leader of a band. I'd practice, I'd sing, and I'd play everything and travel every road throughout the land. I had this thing when I was 13 And music was the life that I liked best This was the start of the love in my heart For the music I'd prefer His sisters, Diane and Angie, both have warm memories of growing up with a very talented little brother. Hi, Lynn, this is Angie. What an honor this day must be for you. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor and tribute to you. When you started out in music as a little guy, which seems just like yesterday, who would have thought you would have achieved so much? Your leadership will keep polka music alive for many generations to come. My wish for you is continued success in your music industry. Love you, Len. Enjoy this, your special day. Bye for now. Hi, Len. This is Diane. I look back today, Len, and reminisce about our days growing up in Chicago surrounded by polka music. Our parents loved it, so it flowed throughout the house. Len, you've brought smiles and happiness to so many people with your music. You brought home to our parents, to Richie, Angie, and myself, such pride in every step of the way. Keep making people happy with your music, Len, because that's what makes you happy. So enjoy this day and have fun. God bless. Bye-bye. Because somehow they just seem to do no wrong. I hit the scene when I was 13. Throughout the mid to late 60s and on into the 70s, Lenny continued to develop into a well sought after sideman and session musician. It wasn't long before he crossed paths with Eddie Blazonczyk's Versatones. Here's a picture of Lenny playing with them in 1968. Hi, Len. This is Zach from 36th and Walcott. Even though our relationship started a while ago, I know we could spring back to 1966 in less than a heartbeat. Hey, Len, thank you. Thank you for sharing your time, patience, energy, enthusiasm, guidance, tolerance. Thank you for showing me how to do something instead of telling me how to do it. Thank you for showing me examples of how to be a good son, brother, father, and husband. So congratulations, Glenn. God bless you and your family with continuing health, happiness, and success. Hello, Ludlow. This is Chet Kowalkowski from Lockport, Illinois. To my fellow musicians, I'm known better as CK or Chuck. You and I go back to the mid-60s. In those early days, performing in lounges meant five-hour gigs on Saturday, five to six hours playing weddings, boy, oh boy. Putting out two albums a year meant rehearsals, recording sessions, two, three in the morning. Road trips, living out of our suitcases for two to three days. Man, oh man, doing all this while holding down a full-time job. Yes, sir, those were the days. Now then, Lenny, when you joined the Versatones, you were a tremendous asset to the band. Your playing both motivated and inspired me so much. Well, anyway, thank you not only for all the fine memories, but most of all for the love, laughter, and limelight that is yours today. Your buddy and colega, Cheshu. Dziękuję Ci serdecznie. Hi, Lenny Gamulka. This is Tish Boazonczyk calling. I sure wish I could have been there this weekend to celebrate with you. Uh, congratulations on the IPA 
honoring you this year as Polka Legend. We go back a long time, Lenny, and I've known you for many, many, many years. You played our wedding some 50 years ago plus with Bermuda shorts and long knee-high socks. You were a part of the Versatone for many, many years. Of course, watching you on the May Day Parade and uh, along with the other Versatones are the many cruises that we did together with the band. There were so, so many events and so many great memories. What you did with Ed and for Ed will never be forgotten. I wish you the very best from all of our family. I'd like to say congratulations, Lenny, on your 2016 IPA Hall of Fame tribute, celebrating your talents, contributions, and promotions of polka music far and wide. It has been a privilege to share the stage with you as a first tone and with the tones and wish you a heartfelt, continued success and happiness in all your future musical endeavors. With love and friendship, Rich Sandra. Len, Jerry I hope you're well. Uh, Len, I'd just like to say I've known you for 50 years plus. You are truly deserving of this tribute. You would have been a success in whichever style of music you wanted to pursue. Polka Field one on this one. Hopefully we'll see each other in the very near future. Take care, my friends. Hi, Len. Raj here. Congratulations on this special day to honor you and all your accomplishments. You're admired not only for your out-of-this-world musical talents and your songwriting ability, but for who you are and what you stand for. An honest, fun-loving friend to all. We've been friends for nearly 50 years. I remember those days when you had that, I believe it was a 66 or 67 Chevelle, 396, and we'd go to Colonia Grove. That was one fast car, wasn't it? Thanks for your friendship, and in closing, I think I can speak for all the musicians that ever shared the stage with you. It's a real honor for us to be there next to you. Good luck, God's blessing, and keep it going. I love you, pal. By the mid-70s, Lenny was riding high, once again touring the country as a member of the nation's number one polka band, Eddie Blazoncek's Versatones, and recording on many albums done at Bel Air Studios. Here they are in a rare live clip from 1977. Hello, Leonard. This is your buddy, Mike Janis, calling to congratulate you on your IPA Tribute Day. You know, a week doesn't go by without me thinking about the good times we had playing with the Versatones and the Chicago Push. I haven't found another trumpet player able to recreate the sound that we had together. We were really tight. I truly miss playing alongside of you. You are one in a million. Have a wonderful day. Lenny also recorded numerous times with various groups on the Bel Air label. Hi Lenny, this is Stephanie, and first of all, I want to congratulate you on your big tribute day. Well deserved. Your accomplishments are a lot in polka music, including some great polka memories for your truly Stephanie. As you being part of one of Stephanie's recording sessions at the Bel Air, 
on clarinet and alto. Also, along with Eddie Bloodsling said senior on drums and recording some of the biggest hits for one dance Stephanie, such as Lover Will Lover, Knock Knock Polka, and the list could go on. So, Lenny, I could not pass this opportunity up to congratulate you and thank you for some great polka memories. Sorry I can't be there, but Lenny, enjoy your big tribute day. Love ya, Stephanie, America's polka sweetheart. The late 70s Versatone band was a powerhouse, and Lenny recorded several classic albums with them. Four members of that group were, in the coming years, inducted in IPA's Polka Music Hall of Fame. First Eddie, then Lenny in 1988, and later his bandmates, the late Rich Tokars and the late Jerry Darla. As the 70s drew to a close, it was time for Lenny to step into a new role, that of band leader. He formed his Chicago Push in January of 1980, and 36 years later, the band is actively touring and at the top of the industry as a perennial award winner by the International Polka Association and the United States Polka Association. Congratulations on your wonderful achievement. Your music touches all who know you, right down to our souls. I am grateful you shared Simply Polka Mentry with me and accepted me on stage. Lenny, your friendship and talent are special gifts, generously given, happily accepted, and deeply appreciated. May you be blessed with many years to come. God bless, lots of love. Your forever friend, Mary Lou Cherniak, and family. Running is what you've got to do. Say hello to someone in Massachusetts. Tip your hat to every lady. A proud achievement came in 1998 when his song, Say Hello to Someone in Massachusetts, was declared the official state polka of Massachusetts. With the help of State Representative Paul Caron, it was officially declared by the governor and enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives on October 1st, 1998. Hi, this is former State Representative Paul Caron at Springfield. During my time in the state legislature, I represented the Indian Orchard section of the city, a predominantly Polish neighborhood. And I have the unique distinction of being the one who sponsored the state official polka. 
I well remember that day back in 1998 when Governor Paul Cellucci signed my bill into law officially designating the state's POCA. Lenny, congratulations on a wonderful career and for being the one that authored Say Hello to Someone in Massachusetts, Massachusetts official state POCA. Lenny also assembled and co-led a talented polka super group called Full Circle. Many members are fellow Hall of Famers in their own right. Hi Lenny, Mike Matusek here. I just had to share my heart and congratulate you on your stellar polka career. Your talents are truly incomparable, but your humility and your sincere concern about others are also to be admired. We're all grateful for the legacy of polka greats like Wally, Lush, Eddie, and Louie. But today, you carry that torch, my friend. All the best, buddy. Take care. This is Jimmy Weber, formerly from the Sounds Orchestra. I would like to congratulate my friend Lenny Gamolka on this recognition of his significant and enduring contributions to the polka music industry. I think it is safe to say there is not a polka musician alive that has not been significantly affected by him. I am positive there is some flavor of Lenny in each and every one of us. I remember a conversation I had about Lenny with the late Eddie Blazonczyk Sr. when we were talking about polka musicians. He stated that musicians are like bottles of liquors on the shelves of a bar. There are many good and great brands, but on the top shelf is Lenny Gamolka. Congratulations, my friend, and I thank you for all the things you have done for all of us musicians and polka fans alike. Hey, Lenny, this is Al Piakowski. Hey, I'm just calling to let you know how thrilled I am that you're being honored at this year's IPA Hall of Fame benefit dance. You know, I've always thought that your uh, excellence as a musician, vocalist, songwriter, and promoter of folk music is only second to the humble way you portray yourself. You've been an influence to hundreds, if not thousands, of folk musicians, including me. Enjoy your day, and later you and I will have a drinky winky together. Okay, buddy, buddy? Bye-bye. Hi, this is Jimmy Stern, and I sure wish I could be with everyone today for this very special day for a very special person. You know, I've probably known Lenny longer than anybody else in this room. Lenny and I have been friends for over 40 years, and I've always admired not only his musical abilities, but also his great writing ability. In fact, several years ago, Lenny wrote a song for our band. I told him I'd love to do it if he would sing it. He did. Some time ago, when Lenny took a break from the band, I asked him to be part of our annual Christmas tour, and what a job he did. Lenny, you'll take the place in polka music right on the top of the field. I don't believe anyone ever wrote better songs or played better trumpet or clarinet. Well, well, maybe one on the clarinet. Oh, by the way, I play clarinet. Lenny, you deserve this special day as much as anyone. Congratulations. Hi Lenny, Gary Ramey here from Peppermint Recording in Youngstown. I want to congratulate you on today, and I also want to thank you for involving me as your recording engineer and mixing engineer for nearly 30 years of making music and memories together. And you know, one of my first memories was of you when you came into the studio 
and you dazzled me with a, a clarinet solo. Then you amazed me when you said, I'd like to do that again. And I'm thinking to myself, gee, does it get any better? Well, it did. And I soon found out that with Lenny, it's not just about doing better. It's about giving your best. Thanks, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. This is Mitch. I'm delighted that you're being honored today by the International Polka Association. I'm not surprised. I can't think of anyone who is more deserving of this honor. You are truly a polka great. It's been a tremendous joy working and touring together in Poland, and I will always treasure those memories. And when it, the dust settles and celebration is over, we'll get together for a good meal and, as you call it, a drinky winky. In Polish, congratulatuję tobie, bracie. God bless you. Push Records is the vehicle by which Lenny Gomolka markets his music. It is both traditional, appealing to the more mature fan, as well as innovative, appealing to the younger polka fan. Lenny Gomolka plays polka music Chicago Push style. And it's all about keeping polka music alive with the ultimate polka fan in mind. Hi Lenny, this is John Mikos. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate you on this special day. For over 25 years, I've had the pleasure of playing alongside of you on stage and in the studio. So on behalf of myself and all the musicians who have been blessed to be a part of your musical journey, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for all the memories and fun times. Thank you for all the experiences we've shared together. Thank you for making us all better musicians. And most of all, thank you for our friendship. This is a well-deserved tribute to you, Lenny, and I hope you're enjoying this day. Hey, Len, Mackenzie here. You, Estelle, and Teddy mean the world to my family and me. It's a pleasure to work for you, and it's a privilege to call you a friend. Your professionalism on stage is a fine example for those fortunate enough to share the stage with you, and more importantly, a great example for young musicians who aspire to be like you. I also want to say congratulations on another milestone in your amazing musical career. Congratulations, and God bless you. Lenny has found inspiration for his songwriting in many places, but through it all, there is one reoccurring theme that has captured his creativity. Dad, one of my earliest childhood memories is of you singing to me. Your music has always held a very special place in my heart, and it always will. Though I didn't inherit any of your musical abilities, I've learned so much from you. To be positive, to be nice, kind, caring, to be humble, to live life to the fullest, and to live a life filled with love. Also, that a good sense of humor makes everything more fun. Thank you for always welcoming me along with you when you perform. Thank you for the songs you've written for me. I'll always be your biggest fan. I'm very proud of you, Dad, and I love you with all my heart. Hi, Dad. I want to congratulate you on your tribute today. I'm really proud of you, and I have you to follow and, um, learn, and learn from. And guess what? I already know you're the best at everything, not only being a great singer, songwriter, and musician, especially at being my dad. I'm one lucky kid. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Irresistible you. I must have died and gone to heaven. It will mark 25 years of love and marriage for us this coming November, as well as over 30 years of knowing and loving you, Lenny. But it is because of your lifelong commitment to polka music as to why the IPA honors you today. Keep doing what you're doing, Lenny, enjoying the good life, always having respect for family first and genuine friendship. Your love for polka music is immeasurable. That's why you do it so well. This is who you are and what you do best. The songs you sing and the music you play will never leave my heart. You are my forever friend, and I salute you today and every day. I love you, Lenny.
Through the years, Chicago Push has garnered 12 Grammy nominations. Lenny Gamolka is a registered member of BMI, with over 160 published songs to his credit. His work is featured on virtually hundreds of recordings and has been awarded just about every accolade given in the polka field for singing, playing, and writing this music that he loves. Lenny continues to be regarded as the most respected musician in polka music today. Reflecting on my musical career over the last 54 years, I can't help but ask where this time has gone. I have to thank God for the many blessings. He's enriched my life with good physical health and the mental capacity to continue my musical dreams. He's also blessed me with the best of the best of musicians anyone could ask for. And he's blessed me with audiences that have treated me like a king. I'll never forget so many good friends, my dear brother musicians who were taken from us much too early. Their memories are locked inside my heart. And to my special friends that I've known for most of my life, thank you for staying close and thank you for being so good to me. And to my biggest fans, my mom, my dad, my proud parents who trusted me and started my musical journey. My brother Richie who practices accordion with me relentlessly and taught me every song that he knew. And thank you to my sisters Angie and Diane for their wonderful support. And they never minded us turning off that TV because my brother and I had a practice. God has blessed me with many good things, including my beautiful daughter, Gina, my handsome little son, Teddy, and he's blessed me with the love of my life, my wife, my sweetheart, Estelle. Life is good. I love you all. Thank you, God. Thank you all. Lights. 